In this tutorial, we'll be using Gmetrix. Gmetrix is a web-based platform to help you learn ideas and concepts and theories about graphic design, which um, you use Photoshop in creating uh, graphic design. So, um, and this is a uh, web-based platform we're gonna actually use to help us learn how to uh, learn uh, actual questions that will be covered on the certification test. So, and that's the end uh, result of taking this class is we want to be able to pass the certification test and GMAKers will help us study for that. Okay. So we're going to go back to, this is a canvas here, the home page. I'm going to click on modules here and I'm just going to go to this pre-assessment in session one. So this is a work in the design industry pre-assessment session one. So this is my login right here. It'll show you my login. And what you want to do is you want to log in with Gmail. So if there's ever an option to log in, sign in with Google, you want to choose that option. But mine will not use that, and so it just took me a second and I'll log in another way. Yep. So therefore, it will be logged in. You might actually see this when you first log in. I'm not sure exactly what it will look like on your screen, but if it doesn't, then you can click redeem. And I want to just show you what it looks like. So if I was an A1, whatever class you're in, you're going to copy that code. But if I was an A1, I would copy that link. And what I'm going to do is paste that code in for the redeem and click redeem. So this class is about Photoshop. So we're going to choose Photoshop here, the Photoshop CC. Okay. You're going to click here. And um, for right now, when you first start, it has a glossary and stuff like that, you know, so we're working in the design industry. So this, this is session one. Okay. So what we're going to do is do a screenshot of that pre-assessment, you know, for this pre-assessment here, there's seven questions here. So what you're going to do is take the pre-assessment. Okay. I just want you to take it once. You have to take a screenshot. So like you can go up to. Just type in the letter S, it has a sniffing tool, and you can click on new right here. And I want you to, you have the window, the entire screen. It can't be just a little bit, just the hundred past. You need to have your name and everything like that. You can save by click on file and save as, and you can save in your ID number, your never folder under A1 or whatever class you're in, okay? But I'm gonna click cancel there. So that's what you're gonna do to get a screenshot. So I can say no. Then, um, whenever you actually do lesson one, so you're going to do the video exercise labs, student workbooks, then you're going to do lesson two. So these all things, they're, they show up grade in before you do them, but once you do them, they will actually be green. Okay, this, okay. And then if you've already done this for the G metrics thing, so this is what I want you to do. It's a little more straightforward. I want you to actually take a screenshot of your pre-assessment, upload that to this assignment, and there'll be another assignment that says post-assessment. Then take a screenshot of your post-assessment. The post-assessment there actually is, oh, let's see here. I think there's 22, 21 questions there. So 21 questions. And whatever grade you have there, so like I made a 95, that's, the grade that I will going to put in Skyward. The post assessment, I mean the pre assessment thing right here, whatever grade you get, it doesn't matter. Okay, I want you just to put forth your best effort and you doing the pre assessment, you will get a 100. Kind of like the tutorials. So this is like the tutorial you're going to just doing it and turning in the screenshot gives you 100. But the post assessment, whatever grade you get on the post assessment, you can take it as many times you need to, but if you make a 95 on that and take a screenshot of it, if that's what you want, take a screenshot, turn it in, that's the grade I will give you in Skyward, okay? So if you make a 60 or you can make a 100, so, but whatever grade you take a screenshot of, that's the grade you're going to get in Skyward, okay? Um, I think we'll pretty much finish everything, so... 
Yeah, let's say like for instance the pre-assessment thing. So what you can do is just, you know, when you turn this in to so click on this upload, this is kind of an idea of what it looks like. But I show you like I have in my post pre-assessment thing and I'll upload and choose that kind of thing. And then there'll be another assignment that says post assessment, you know, and then you would actually turn in that post assessment test results screenshot to that assignment. Okay, so that finishes this project.